Late like always, man. Is this some kind of Latin tradition? No, it's a fashion choice, something you would know nothing about. You want to trade insults or money? Money. Good. Very good. Aren't you going to count it? Why? If you try to short me, you'll never see your merchandise. Thanks, Mike. I never thought you'd make it so easy. What is this about? About 10 to 15 in Chino, wouldn't you say? I want nothing to do with this. Hey, freeze. Not even a scratch. Oh, no, no, no. This trash can be recycled. Yeah. Take a look at this. Even comes with a California redemption value. Oh, how about that? You're famous. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. got no right. Uh, well, you see, I've got a poster here. It says that you were busted with a half a pound of cocaine. Got a fax says you jumped bail 10 minutes after your arraignment. It wasn't me. It was my evil twin. Huh. Well, I guess he hit his head harder than we thought. Let's go. Si, sí, verdad, tres americanos. They look like shampoo commercial. No sé, momento. Excuse me, what will you be taking me now? Hey! Hey, that's my phone! Give me that. Hey, I get one call, no? That's after you get to jail. That would be the Los Angeles County Jail. Do you believe this guy? Look, you can make all of our lives easier now, and let me go now. Hey, up there's a great idea. Forget it. Suit yourself, senores. False arrest suits can get very expensive. We'll take the risk. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. Reno, go watch his car. I'll call the wrecker. Hey, I wouldn't try to tow it. It's a custom chassis, easily damaged. Will you guys get him out of here?
Scott LeMay. Dutch Dixon? <laughs> you old rascal, how you doing? Well, uh, I was better until I found out who my competition was. Your comp? You're up for the Marshall Task Force? Down to just the two of us. Just like the old days in the academy. <laughs> well, congratulations. Break a leg. You don't stand a chance. Well, you're probably right about that. Hey, look, can I buy you a drink tonight? Uh, nice try, but I want to be sharp for that interview tomorrow. Well, you got to eat. So how about dinner and uh, we'll stick to Pellegrino? Bed by 10, easy on the war stories. Scott's on her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excuse me, can you take these two off my hands? I would like to beat the traffic. You must be new in town. And I would like to get out of town. Omar, Michael, J, felony cocaine sale plus bail flight. And uh, Don Juan Johnson here, well, he is... He's vice consul of the Republic of Costa Verde. Well, the vice part, I believe. With full diplomatic immunity. Now, that's a new one. Read it and weep. Oh, I see. So the suitcase full of cash was actually foreign aid. No, this time I thought it was drug money. It doesn't matter. Well, maybe not in Costa Verde, sweetie, but here in the U.S. it's frowned upon. I mean he can't be charged. These appear in order, Miss Romero. Mr. Cortez, you're free to go. Almost. I don't believe this. What is this? Obviously, you're not familiar with the 1963 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Oh, yes, I am. It came up last night over pizza. Turn him loose now before I file charges against you. Hasta la vista, Bobby. So this little stun guy, yeah. uh, he's taught me in front of this pool room full of his scumball buddies. <laughs> uh, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. You, you point your piece right between his eyebrows and you offer him instant enlightenment. Uh, no, 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 I read him his rights and I wait for the backup to arrive. What? Uh, don't tell me the old Dutchman is finally mellowing. Hey, well, you know, we all gotta grow up sometime. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, Doug. You know, uh, you've known me longer than anybody. You could really ace me out with a task force tomorrow if you started telling tales to the selection committee. Wait a minute. Is that what dinner was for? Making sure that I won't trash you to the marshals? Of course not, but... Dutch. Dutch, look. I want the task force. I want it pretty bad, but not bad enough that I'm going to cut off an old friend Stones to get it. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, hey! Hey, Bobby. Water. Can you give me some water? Over there. What's wrong? I OD'd on L.A. Please give me migraines. What's the problem? You collected on Omero, right? Yeah, he's buried under 10 feet of LAPD paper. We're lucky we'll see the money by uh, December. Well, maybe you'll get a Christmas bonus with his playmate. Nope. Sprung. What? Diplomatic immunity. Well, what is he? A minister of pharmacology? <clears throat> He's actually the vice counsel from Costa Verde. He had some female barracuda waiting for him at county. He actually got out of there before I did. So he gets away scot-free? Yep. Unless we can get him on the cash in the car. We still got the car, right? We still got the car, right? 500 pounds of muscle showed up before your tow truck did. There was a suitcase full of cash in the car. LAPD rolled in, OK? I had to bail. No. Where are you going? Back to L.A. I'm going to rattle the bars and see who growls. What for? Diplomatic immunity isn't meant to shelter cocaine dealers. Oh, great. Now i got an international incident on my hands. This migraine's turning into a tumor. 
I'll call you. Hey, Reno. Hey, Reno! Oh. Teresa? Teresa? Well? I'm waiting. For what? Your speech, Primita. Let's get it over with. How can you disgrace your country? How dare you abuse your diplomatic privileges? What would your father say? Blah, blah, blah. Your words, not mine. But your thoughts, no? Ooh, forgive me. I keep forgetting that in this country, normal behavior between a man and a woman is considered sexual harassment. You wouldn't know normal if you'd walked up and spat in your face. Michelle? I'm Don Dixon. I was with Doug when he died. very quick. He felt no pain. He talked about you. You're in the academy together. Doug and I, we, we go way back. We went way back. The man who killed Doug, they told me that you shot him. His, uh, his name was Hank Reed. I put him in jail once. I'm afraid the bullet that hit Doug was meant for me. Fired too late, I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. Thank God you gave that man what he deserved. Michelle, if there's ever anything that I can do for you, anything, you lean on me, okay? Thank you. Lieutenant Dixon. Jack Hendricks, CAL Task Force. <sighs> My interview. <laughs> Clearly forgot. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. We know the whole story. You handled that very well. Yeah. Doug, he was <laughs> my best friend. Look, when uh, when you select an alternate finalist to replace Doug, give me a call, will you? There ain't gonna be an alternate finalist. Look, I know this isn't the way that you wanted to get the job, but I came down here to tell you that the criminals at large task force would be proud to have you. Well, oh, thank you. No, thank you, Marshal Dixon. she handle? You gonna sue us? For harassment, perhaps? You mind popping the trunk? Esteban, who is this? One of the vigilantes from yesterday. Did you know these grounds are legally considered foreign soil? Did you know he's got a quarter of a million dollars cash in his trunk from a cocaine dealer? At least he did yesterday. Oh, please. Look, Mr. Vince Black, you're Teresa Romero, right? Well, you have quite an attitude, Mr. Black. I'm just getting warmed up. Miente, ¿verdad? ¿Tú qué piensas, primita? ¿Por qué no lo vemos nosotros? Oh, 
speak a Spanish, huh? Pop the trunk, Esteban. Okay, so you ditched it. Which means you haven't delivered the merchandise yet. Omera's men must be getting just a little bit impatient, huh? I'm calling security. The way I see it, you haven't made delivery yet. When you do, we'll meet again. Vaya con Dios. Encantado. Hiding? What brings you back here? I thought you hated this place. This. Take a look. Donald Dixon leaving Bay City? All right. Not all right. Keep reading. Come on. Lieutenant Dixon joins the U.S. Marshal's office to head up the western arm of the new CAL task force. What's CAL? Criminals at large. Now he doesn't have to waste his time on penny ante rapists and killers. He can concentrate all his time on you. With a bunch of federal help. No state lines in the way. This is a nightmare. Only it's for real, so come on, let's go. Come on, where? Anywhere. OK, just as soon as I'm finished with this case. What case? Omera and Cortez. Well, that case is over. Omera's in the can. Yeah, and Cortez is in the breeze. Diplomatic cover. He can still be deported and charged in his own country. Yes, and pigs have wings. <sighs> All right, what do I got to do to get you out of the state? We have to talk. Let me go. You're protecting a drug dealer. I am not protecting anyone. Then why do you feel guilty? Oh, great. He's a biker. He's a psychologist. Look, I heard him call you cousin. Is that it? The 1963 Vienna Convention. Guarantees immunity to diplomats. Thank you. Yeah, but only while they're performing official duties. You have no evidence. Probably carries the stuff around in his diplomatic pouch. Bye. What if I can convince you right now? Goodbye. Teresa, give me 20 minutes. Why on earth would I go with you? Because you know I'm right. 20 minutes. I'll follow you. Problem? No. It always sounds like this. Well, come on. We'll take my bike. Don't worry. I won't kidnap you. Why do you put up with him? His father, my uncle, is the ambassador in Washington. Why did you leave the police force? <sighs> Too frustrating. You sign on to make a difference, the system won't let you. It's still the best system. Spoken like a true patriot, even though you're not American. <laughs> Your cynicism is easy. Faith takes hard work. You ought to know. What do you mean by that? Well, here you are, trying to sweep me off my feet, hoping I'll implicate my cousin. There's nothing in it for you. I'm no hero. I do this because I'm angry. The good laws get twisted in impossible ways. The rights of the accused, rules of evidence. It's all meant to protect the innocent, but all it seems to do is shelter the guilty. You're right. It's a miracle anyone ever gets convicted. A miracle. Look, Esteban was with a convicted cocaine dealer. They had a suitcase full of cash, which has since disappeared. It's your word against his. You think I'm lying? What am I supposed to do? Help me. Help me catch him. All right. Been 
very enlightening. I uh, thought all bikers were rough and scary. Well, I thought all diplomats were stiff and stodgy. Good night. Buenas noches, Teresa. Oh, it's your jacket. I forgot. You might want to keep it. Then I'll have to come by tomorrow and get it. lights on the office? Not me. Let's go. Looks just a new cleaning crew. Hi, kids. Sorry we're here so late, but uh, I didn't want to drop by during business hours. Yeah, this would be a little disruptive. Hey, well, don't worry about it, because we're only going to be here long enough to find records of your involvement with Reno. Yeah, well, we keep catching Reno, but he keeps giving us the slip. Oh, no, that's very funny. I wonder if it's going to get a big laugh in court. Come on, Bobby. Where do you think you're going? Home. To bed. You guys are going to be here all night. See, I was working on the computer this afternoon, and darn, if the whole thing didn't crash, all of our files are just missing. Gone. Poof. Next time, get your warrant before the papers break your promotion. Good night, boys. What are you guys looking at, huh? Keep going. I want Reno Reigns. Great man, listen, I need you to get out of town right away. Why? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? I went back to the office, and old Dutchy boy Dixon was snarfling through that place like he was a, a like a, a truffle-hunting pig. Snarfling? Snarfling. Wait a second. Are you in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. Well, thank God the shy she purged the computers before they even got there. Smart girl, you should hang on to her. Look, it's gonna take me a day to button this thing up. No, not a day. It's two day. Here. LAX to Logan. Leaves in about a, uh, an hour. Lou Costello? Great. I always wanted to be a comedian. Well, well good. So that means you're gonna go? Yeah. I'll cash in on a different ticket just as soon as I'm ready. No, you don't understand something. Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Oh, great, Reno. There's a woman involved, isn't there? There is a woman involved. Go ahead and tell me there's not a woman involved. There's a woman involved. See, you don't understand something. He has graduated. Dutch has graduated. He's got manpower. He can do wiretaps now. Well, then I guess you better not call me. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not supposed to call you. Who are you? Amuse me, take a guess. Uh, you're with Amara? You're his buyer. You want what you pay for. Huh? I'd watch yourself, a lot of police patrol around here. Ay, maldita policia americana. Unless your diplomatic cover comes with a Kevlar rib cage, you shut up, okay? I'm not like any cop you ever met before. Now drive. Drive? Where? To the stash, you knucklehead. Where do you think? It, it, it isn't in the country yet. I swear. I take payment first, then my people down south send the coca. You think I'm stupid? The only reason you're in this deal is because you can transport it personally. All right. I do have it. But I got rid of it temporarily in case my quarters were searched. Keep coming. I'm under some unfortunate scrutiny in my own consulate, so I overnighted the package. To yourself? Yes. That story is so lame, I'm actually gonna buy it. Congratulations, you got a new business partner. But another buyer has already paid. That's a big problem, huh? Hey. You give the coke to me, what are you gonna give them? But I can help you with that, too. Oh, please, no more help. When they call you, you call me. 
set up a delivery they're never going to forget. <laughs> and one more thing, Chico. Don't pull that diplomatic immunity crap on me, okay? You double-cross me, I'm going to send you home in a pouch. Hey, how you doing? Got these for you, and I'm going to need a signature on this one. Miss T. Romero. I'm Teresa Romero. I wonder what it could be. Secret admirer? Thank you. Secret admirer, huh? Not so secret, I'm afraid. Give that back. Hey, hey. Everybody knows about your long-haired gringo outlaw. Kissing in front of the house. Teresa. We didn't kiss. Very indiscreet. You used me? You put my career in jeopardy, my life? Teresa, mi amor, we're family. Fine. Let's go open that box together in the consul's office. Bad idea. Your address on the label, your signature in the delivery log, very incriminating. Why do you do this, Esteban? You don't need money, you're the ambassador's son. That's exactly why I do it. Out there, I'm no one's son. I'm the man. By the way, next time you meet your friend, Ask him why he couldn't turn me in at the county jail and why he fled the police when they came about my Porsche, huh? Hey, Vince, I need to know the truth. Because I'm wanted by the law, that's why. And what crime are you wanted for? Murder. You couldn't kill anyone. How can you be so sure? I'm sure. You're right. I was framed and falsely convicted by a corrupt police lieutenant. So now you run? Now I run. You were right about Esteban? I got some kind of package today, and he was waiting to intercept it. About shoebox size, six to seven pounds. How did you know? Three kilos. It just about matches the money. Where'd he put it? I don't know. He took it to his quarters, I think. His car wasn't out front. Where'd he go? I don't know. Where are you going? I'm gonna look for the package. How, by kicking down doors? Slow down, Vince. I'm sorry, Teresa. But time's running out for me. That guy I was telling me about, the cop, he's getting closer. Oh, this is foreign soil. What? I said this is foreign soil. He can't touch you here. The same law that protects Esteban protects you. <laughs> Great. Maybe I ought to just move in here. Maybe you should. Nice dreams. Some dreams come true. Have you ever considered marriage? Teresa, stop. No, it's done all the time. People marry to gain residency. They don't marry convicted murderers. I think of you more as a refugee. Seeking political asylum. Well, it's not so far from the truth, is it? It also happens that our two countries have no extradition treaty. You're serious, aren't you? I uh, hardly... I mean, we, we haven't... Made love. My grandparents arranged my parents' marriage when they were babies, and they met when they were teenagers. Now they're in their 60s and been married 40 years, and I've never met a happier couple. But we've only known each other for two days. I believe in my instincts. Teresa. I can't. You can. If you want to. I will come soon enough. Where's the package? 
I told you. My Gus and the little whore. Did you ask him my questions? Do you know who he is? I know who you are. Oh, really? who he is. Now go before more come and think about my proposal. I have. And I accept. Bigger. Don't forget it. Let's go to work. Expecting great things from you, Don. It's Don, right? Yeah, Don is fine. Dutch works too. Now there's a lot of tradition that goes with his badge. Some of us would rather die than to see it abused or dishonored. Well, that's a club I'd like to get into. Good. There were a few things on your Bay City sheet that uh, that kind of raised my eyebrows. So did the way you got this job. Let's show me get something out on the table, okay? I got a weakness. I'm overzealous. I think I'm just compensating for all the drones who phone it in. Not many of those in this league. You ever see me out over the line? You tell me, we'll do something about it. But if you catch me being lazy or sloppy, I want you to fire me on the spot. Agreed? Agreed. You answer that. I'll see you inside. Dixon. It's Cortez. I've decided to take you up on your offer. That's a wise decision. Tell me something. Those pants ever come clean? I was contacted by my buyers, and I have arranged a meeting. Wow. This is a Buenos Dias. Meet me at my consulate. What, are you crazy? In your own backyard? In my own backyard is the only place I'm safe. Four o'clock. I look forward to it. Excuse me, but you're getting what? Married. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you insane? It's purely practical. Oh, sure. A matter of convenience, really. Well, not for her, I'll bet. She believes I'm innocent. She's willing to do this for me, and her country doesn't extradite. Oh, my God, it's the Costa Verdean Barracuda. Her name is Teresa. Ay, caramba. She thinks she can get the authorities down there to put him away. Whoa, 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 just rewind, okay? You're gonna get married, and you're moving to Costa Verde? You said it yourself, Bobby. There's no place for me to live in this country. Dixon will follow me into hell. Will you talk to him? Reno, you're really gonna do this? I think so. I'm gonna make a life, a real life. This might be my only chance, Shy. Well, you're gonna need a couple of witnesses. Isn't that right, Bobby? No, he's not gonna need any witnesses. He needs therapy. Don't mind him. He's not good with change. So when's the big day? This is it. She's waiting for me right now. Today? Well, this is some hacienda you got here, Chico. We're meeting the buyers at a place on Sunset. These are the party favorites, huh? Do you cultivate being annoying, or were you born this way? A little of both, I guess. Answer the question. Yes. Yes. OK. Anybody else know anything about this? No one. 
My cousin suspects, but uh, she's taken care of. Your cousin? Yes. She's junior economic advisor at the consulate. She's being corrupted by one of the Americans who arrested Omara. A Bobby Six killer? No, the other one, the hippie on the big chopper. Really? Yes. She says she's going to marry the bastard, take him home to our country. My uncle's gonna love that. When? They're at your courthouse right now, getting the license. Hey, where are you going? You have the right to remain silent. You know, I really think we should take this over. Shut up, Bobby. You ready? No. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Teresa Romero, Cheyenne Phillips. Congratulations. Thank you. And that's Bobby Sixkiller right there. Yes, we've met. Oh, come on. Let's do it. This is Federal Marshal Donald Dixon. I have an AD felon loose in the courthouse. Request immediate backup. That's it. Thank you. Trying to get her a green card? Actually, it's the other way around. Yeah, right. Looks like you've got everything you need. You two gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I'm closing. What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're just their witnesses. Well, in that case, sign right here. Well, that's it? No, now you may kiss the bride? It's the 90s, Chief. I reckon they've done that already. No, is there any reason why these two shouldn't be joined in holy matrimony? Speak now forever, hold your peace? <laughs> yeah, well, I got a problem. Sorry to poop the party, Reno, but, uh, <laughs> wasn't gonna last anyway. Cool your jets and take it easy, all right? Go, Reno, go! <laughs> <laughs> Shy. Reno, you're trapped. Send the girl out. No, oh, he's right. You gotta go. I'll go, all right. Teresa! safely say that in 14 years as a federal officer, I've never seen such prodigious results delivered so quickly by a new recruit. In his first week on the job, rookie marshal Donald Dixon was personally responsible for shutting down a major cocaine pipeline out of Central America. I'm going to let him tell you the whole story. Dutch? Thank you, Jack. 
The linchpin of this operation was a Costa Verdean diplomat who was using his country's own diplomatic pouch to smuggle drugs into this country. I simply convinced him that he might have a better chance with the American system of justice than with that pack of angry drug lords in his own country. And I'm Sinead O'Connor. Well, whoop de doo It says here they didn't recover any drugs. Isn't that a darn shame? I wonder how Dutch missed those three kilos. <clears throat> Guys? Oh. Hey, do you hear the phone? I think I'm about to. Well, are you my husband? I don't think we made it. <laughs> well, we'll do it back home. My parents will want a big church wedding anyway. Teresa, I can't. If you'd have died, I would have killed myself. Oh, but I'm fine. This time? Well, there won't be a next time. Not in Costa Verde. You know the way this man works. You think a line in a map is going to stop him? I'll never forget. And I'll always be grateful. I never had a chance to give you this. Oh, I can. Keep it to remember your wedding day. What about you? I have my very own bullet hole. <laughs> How many girls can say that? And by the way, Rena, you may kiss the bride.